For most of 2017, I've been wearing the same smartwatch. And truth be told, it's getting a little tired. So as a New Year's gift to myself, I finally gave in to the Instagram ads that have been crowding my feed and picked up the Movado Connect. It's a fetching little smartwatch that does its 136-year-old brand name proud. But for two big reasons, I might just have to return it. I'm Mr. Mobile, and this is a first look. Yeah, I'm not calling this a review because I've only had the watch for a day at this point, so longer-term insights about battery life and durability will have to wait for the possible future review. Uh, Subscribe to the channel on YouTube and leave a comment if you'd want to see that. So the packaging here is pretty typical, which disappointed me, because the Movado Connect is the most expensive Android Wear device I've ever purchased. It's over $200 more expensive than the first Huawei watch was at release. And the reason I'm reaching all the way back to 2015 for that reference is because that one still holds the crown for best presentation. Given how much more the Movado Connect costs and the additional prestige of coming from a storied watchmaker, I expected a lot more than just a cardboard box. Thankfully, Movado does deliver where it counts. The watch itself has a graceful simplicity that I just adore. That Spartan look carries over to the default face, which evokes Movado's museum watch design from 1947. Another preloaded face, called Day into Night, subtly changes color to follow the sun from rise to set. And of course, you can download any other watch face through the Play Store. The display is AMOLED with good color and excellent pixel density, and the case and buckle are stainless steel, with the band between them a very soft, comfortable black silicone. Even on the charger, the details have been observed. The magnets that clip the ring to the watch are strong and lock it tight every time, which is actually pretty rare. Oh, and pro tip if you buy this, there are actually two protective film layers on the back of the watch out of the box. Be sure to remove them both, or it won't take a charge. It only took a few minutes wearing the Kinect for me to decide it's the best looking smartwatch I've ever worn. The proportions of black to silver, screen to bezel, casing to band are just perfect. Some folks might chafe at the fact that you can't change these bands, but I would never want to, because it's gorgeous just the way it is. So why might I be boxing it back up? Well, with a product as expensive as this, I can't help but look at every shortcoming more harshly. And there's a lot that the Kinect lacks. There's no GPS, LTE, or heart rate sensor. I can forgive those because I personally don't care about them. I mean, this isn't a fitness watch after all. But it's less easy for me to overlook the old Gorilla Glass display covering. A wearable in this class really merits sapphire. And while I like the charger, I wish Movado had made it a dock so the watch can be used as an alarm clock, as many other manufacturers do. The principal killer for me is Android Wear. Someday I might make a video detailing all of my complaints about Google's smartwatch platform. For now, I'll just say it's a confused and inconsistent system. The only thing that's made version 2 enjoyable to me is the rotating side button on my LG Watch Sport, a feature that I thought the Kinect shared because I misread the spec sheet on Movado's website. Yeah, that's on me, but alas, this is just a button. And it's the only button, so you're stuck using the touchscreen for almost everything else. On a watch, that's uncomfortable. And as you've no doubt noticed, it means the screen gets smudgy more quickly than it otherwise would. And on top of that, recent developments at Google haven't exactly been encouraging with regard to Android Wear as a whole. That executive departure caps a long year of uncertainty that hasn't been good for the platform's growth. Yet the fact remains, if you want a smartwatch for your Android phone, your two main choices are Android Wear or Samsung Gear, and Android still has the bigger app ecosystem by far. If you go that route and looks are your top priority, you won't find many with the quiet class of the Movado Connect. Certainly not from Mont Blanc or Louis Vuitton, whose flamboyant showpieces range from $900 all the way up to nearly $3,000. That might make Movado's pricing a bit easier to swallow. Yes, the diesels and fossils of the world are less expensive, but it wasn't made to do battle with them. The Kinect is playing in the luxury space, and doing it very well. 
Seeing it through that lens makes me almost understand how people could drop 600 bucks on this thing. Almost. If you too keep a close eye on how much you get for your dollar, pay a visit to my sponsor, Thrifter. Thrifter is a new way to save money on everything from gadgets to tech to home goods to fashion by shopping based on value and not hype. Hit them up for all the latest deals, including some smartwatches, at thrifter.com. Until next time, thanks for watching, please subscribe, and stay mobile, my friends.